I got cut off there for some reason. I don't know why. But um, like I was saying, you know, you got to do what you got to do, right? Do Am I going to be walking all over the place? No, I believe God has prepared a car for me, a car for me already, right? I, God prepare, has prepared income for me already. I just have to keep doing what I do. And I got to walk all the way. You probably can't even see it. I got to walk all the way back down there to my home. I'm not going to record all the way till I reach home. But I'm just coming on here to motivate y'all, to let y'all know. It's like a 30-minute walk to my house. And that's basically the campus that I just left, left out. But, you know, you just got to do what you got to do. Like, make it happen for you, for your family. And what motivates me, what encourages me is just God and just knowing that God loves me and he wants the best for me, for my family. And, you know, he's going to protect me and provide for me. You know what I'm saying? Things, certain things, you know what I'm saying? It just takes faith. It, it, it may not be a hard task, but it just takes faith. Faith. And a lot of the times we don't um, make moves is because of fear. And, you know, it's impossible to please God without faith, right? And and what? It, why would God be afraid, right? That's why it's, it's so important for us to embody who we are as children of God. Fear no one, right? Fear nothing, okay? Because if we are children of God, okay, if we have the mind of Christ, we are, we are, we are not afraid of nothing. We are not to subscribe to cultural and societal expectations. Listen, if you don't have a car, right, right, yet, that means you're supposed to stay in the house and, and not make moves because you don't have a car? No. You make things happen. You make things happen until, you know what I'm saying, you adjust. And I'm here to encourage anyone out there who maybe want to move to the south or wherever and, you know what I'm saying, pray about it, right? Because it's so important to pray about it because God will put you in a situation where it may not be perfect or ideal, but it's enough that you will have to lean. You still have to lean on him. You, you can't, you know what I'm saying? You still have to lean on him. And I like it like that. You know what I'm saying? I like it where, you know, my God places me somewhere where it may not be perfect, right? And based off of my limited capacity to understand. And sometimes it is perfect, but because of my mind and because of our minds and the way that we think, we think that it's, imp it's not perfect. But when we really think about it the way, you know what I'm saying? And we ask God for understanding, we, we, we will see the perfection in where he has placed us. And sometimes we don't get the revelation till way after. We're like, wow. That's why God placed us there. And so it's so important for us, guys. I think what I really want to round up here, it's so important for us to be grateful, right? To be grateful. Do not let, you know what I'm saying, things that you don't have or just the opinions of people stop you from being grateful for what God is doing in... in. Oh. <laughs> I was hearing something. Oh. Well, the blood of Jesus got me. I'm afraid of nothing around here. There's something in the bushes, y'all. I don't know what it is, but um, but yeah, you know, just having to push forward and press forward. You know what I'm saying? And believing and keep putting God first, and He will make a way like He's made a way for me. I never imagined. Well, I actually did think of coming to Virginia a while back. This was like when I was like 22, 23. Like 20, yeah, 22 to finish up like my bachelor's or whatever, but it didn't happen. I ended up going to Buffalo State for whatever reason. It, it didn't happen because I didn't want to pay in state, out of state tuition. That's really what happened. And it's interesting that I talked about this before, but I couldn't remember why I didn't go. It's because I didn't want to pay in state, uh, out of state tuition. And so I took, I went to Buffalo State because in-state tuition was way more cheaper than going to Virginia. You know what I'm saying? And that's really, that's, that's why, that is why um, I went to Buff State. But let me tell y'all, you know, if I was, if money was not a concern, if I just was like, you know what, God will take care of it, the funds, the tuition, all of that, I would have went to Virginia State. I would have went to Virginia. Probably VSU or one of them other schools. Now, would I know if I've gotten would have gotten um accepted now, nah, but I do know when it comes to certain things, my faith is just when it comes to things that I believe in, like when it it just my faith is just it's just 
Like, there's just nothing like it. You know what I'm saying? I just, if I say something is going to happen, it's going to happen. That's how I got into Buff State. I went to, I, I, I ended up in Buffalo less than a month before classes started. And I hadn't even applied to the school or nothing yet. <laughs> I got accepted while in Buffalo, right? If I didn't get accepted, what would I do? I don't know. Maybe get a job or whatever. But the point I'm trying to make is, you know, sometimes we just got to, make a decision and move out on faith this is another building here i don't know what this building is but um i have a map that the housing gave me that i can probably look and see what it's about but this is probably affiliated with the law school probably i don't know but yeah they got a law school here i don't know it's been my in my desire to go to law school i don't know if that's truly a, a desire that god has placed in me or there's some <laughs> some things that he's still working inside working out inside of me that he needs to work out in me. But um, I would say this, I, I never decided to go to law school. That was not something I ever wanted to do. So that, that makes me think that it's something that is from God that, you know, and, 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 I, and I must admit, he gave, one week he gave me a confirmation. I have been asking him for a confirmation, asking for a confirmation. And he gave me just, it was like a week of confirmation. It was just like, yo, you ask God for something, he really will make it happen for you. But for some reason, sometimes we just find it very difficult to believe when God shows us something. I'm telling you no lie. It was like a week. It was like a week of confirmation. Where, you know, it was like a week. Every day was a sign of law, right? Law school or just the legal environment, right? And so, you know, it doesn't matter to me because as long as I pray and keep putting God first as far as my plans and things, what is for me is going to work out and that's it. And that's what, I mean, what a great thing, right, to go to law school. Like, that was not something I ever, I mean, it's interesting, like I was saying, my mother brought that up recently, how when I was a child, how I, mean, I said I didn't want to be a lawyer anymore. This was during the O.J. Simpson case, um, that I didn't want to be a lawyer anymore because... You know, I don't know. She said, I said they lie too much. I don't know how I was able to see that or what made me say that. But it's something that I said. And um, again, like I said, I don't know why I said it. But it's interesting how that desire got placed in my heart again to go to law school. So all glory to God. Because everything that I am is because of him. Everything that he's making me, that he's prepared me to be, is because of him. Um, I would be nothing without the Lord. I would be nothing without, I would be nothing without his grace, with grace without his mercy. What he has done in my life already, the transformation that he's done for me, um, it's just, it, it's just without words. And, you know, God's transformation is mostly, mostly from the inside. I believe it's all from the inside, actually. And I think as time go on, as you grow, certain things in the environment begins to change gradually or, you know, or, or, or gradually, incrementally, or just in, in seasons. So in other words, you may find like, you know, like small growths here and there, but then you'll have a season where it's just like, but I'm, but I'm boom. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Everything that you've been praying for, everything that he's placed in your heart as far as desires, here it is. And then you may have a season where it's just okay. You know, just you and God in silence or whatever building and then but I'm but I'm boom. You understand more stuff. So God, I don't, you know, God works how he works. Um, I do believe at the end of the day, be it according to your faith. When we look at people like Cardi B and I always use her as a reference because I think her story and just what she was able to accomplish. And I no one, I don't got to know Cardi B or, just, or anything to know that it's her faith and her belief and her desires. You know, and she's already said, you know, she's, she talks to Jesus and, and things like that, that it was truly him um, granting her that just what she, um, the life that she has. And like my pastor was saying, you have to have a level of confidence. And he said, he used the word a superiority. And, and sometimes when you are like that, the world takes offense to that. But you have to, again, know who you are. You understand what I'm saying? No who um god 
created you to be so you're not shaken or moved by other people's opinions of you yes be kind yes be gracious yes be loving but any time somebody want to try or test you because they feel like you are not acting the way that you should act or whatever listen stand strong and be who you are and you know what i'm saying and that's that's the bottom line because if when it's all said and done coming from from my experience um coming from someone who coming from a perspective where i used to be a people pleaser and you know just didn't have a voice or the courage to stand up for what i believe in or myself or just being myself being the peculiar person that i always was and i ended up conforming to society and culture and just you know different things or whatever in in every in in, in the way that was relative to me i think there are so many different ways people you know lose their identities in this world there's so many different forms of identities out there that you know it's just whatever it is, is relative to you it the, the moral of the story still applies um what god has definitely given me more than anything more than anything but not least of them is or not greatest of them is just the importance of loving myself the importance of staying true to who i am the importance of valuing my uniqueness you understand what i'm saying me everyone will not understand it everyone won't accept it and um that's one of the problems in in our world is that you know the world is just doing what the world does and so if you are not aware of who you are right you are going the world is they're going to oppress you they're going to tell you how to be how to be how to live how to dress how to act how to do all these different things but um what Christ did for me was give me the courage and the boldness and the confidence to be me in in some environments that I would have never been able to be me had it not been for Christ and it took him having to put me back in certain environments environments to see you know his glory to see the transformation that he's made in my life sometimes we are afraid of situations sometimes we are afraid of being in certain places but it is truly in those places that we get to see the glory of God in our lives and how he has transformed us so as you can see and finally Ooh, I was about to preach. Wow. I was about to preach. To, oh, no. All right. Well, so be it. Um, so I'm almost here. I'm almost home, as you can see. Um, this is the community. This is what is called a uh, region village. Um, I normally go through this part right here, and then I walk down on the, um, on the street but yeah um just want to thank you guys thank you guys again for tuning in maybe i'll just you know y'all gotta see where i live exactly yet but well actually you can see one of my other videos i think i posted where i lived i just don't want to be too loud right now but um but yeah so that's it y'all whatever decision that you feel in your spirit you need to make you need to get out of that situation that you're in you know to figure out who you are to develop yourself emotionally spiritually you know what i'm saying socially sometimes you got to get out of certain spaces so that you can truly figure out who you are and stop living under people's expectations of you right people who may have known you for a long time and now that you're changing and transforming they call calling out and picking out certain things that's just like and then now you're questioning your love there. Then, then it's like they're trying to question your love for them. You're, they're trying to question just your integrity and, and things for them. And that's, that has nothing to do with it. People change, people grow. And if, any, if no one, if the people that you are around is not willing to support who you are trying to become, if they're not willing to encourage, motivate, or at the least say nothing and be silent, then if they're not again if they're not willing to support you or at the least not willing to be silent in your transformation then they have no business being around you and they can meet you on the flip side when you're established and when your life is is developed enough so that they can say okay wow now i see what god was doing in their life now i see why what was going on i didn't understand it then but sometimes you can't do it around people and it's no love loss it's nothing it's just you making using wisdom using knowledge using the faith that god has given you and just the courage to go about and do what he has created you to do before the foundations of the world. Be mindful to pray. Be prayerful with God. Ask him where to lead, where he's leading you, what he wants you to do, and he will make the way. It's like a scale will be removed from your eye and you'll be like, wow, why didn't I not think of this before? And bada boom. Okay. So this is my building here. I'm going to go on through the backside because... That's just what I want to do right now. Uh, 
So this is where I'll be parking my car when I get it in Jesus' name, right in front of my building. Um, this is the rental office here on the first floor. I don't know what's upstairs, but so this is um, my building here. My amazing apartment. I'm so grateful for it. Y'all don't even understand. Um, we going in here. Don't mind. My place. I don't know why I got this door open like this. I went to this store to get some pots and stuff. Because I feel soon I'm going to start cooking. Let me close this off. I think I showed y'all. This is the laundry room. Or whatever. So I'm going to eat my food. This is where I got my laptop set up. It's warm in here. I'm about to turn off this song. It's really warm in here. Maybe I'm just hot. Um, I'm going to eat my food. All right. Thank you all again for tuning in. Thank you for listening. Corbin L. Gilliams. I, King Amongst Kings. Pray for me, y'all. Pray for me, y'all. Prayers is always good. In Jesus' name. Make sure it's in Jesus' name. All right, y'all. Peace out.